Imagine having the power to fix our DNA and combat genetic disorders. That's what CRISPR offers, a revolutionary tool with immense potential. First demonstrated in 2012, CRISPR allows scientists to snip out faulty pieces of genetic code and replace them. This groundbreaking technology could potentially treat a wide range of previously incurable genetic conditions and heritable diseases. Sounds amazing, right? But you may be wondering, what does CRISPR do? To understand this, we first have to get down to our genes and not the kind we wear. Think of genes as the blueprints for what makes you, you. We get them from our parents and they provide instructions for everything from building your skeleton to making sure your body functions correctly. This genetic information is stored in DNA. Sometimes the DNA sequence in a gene can have mistakes, leading to problems like higher cancer risk or conditions like cystic fibrosis. CRISPR excites scientists because it lets them target these mistakes, cut them out, and replace them with new DNA that can potentially fix the issue. CRISPR systems have two main parts. The first part is a guide RNA, which acts like a GPS, directing the system to the right gene on the DNA strand. The second part is a Cas protein, or CRISPR-associated protein, which acts like scissors once the right gene is found. The most commonly used Cas protein is Cas9, which cuts the targeted DNA. If CRISPR only removes the gene, the cell tries to repair the cut, but this can cause errors, or even turn off entire genes. So, scientists have learned to create customized templates that cells use as blueprints when repairing the targeted area, allowing CRISPR to cut and insert a corrected or new copy of the genetic sequence. CRISPR has already made a significant impact in treating sickle cell disease, a blood disorder affecting about 100,000 people in the U.S., particularly those of African American descent. Those with a condition inherit a variant of the beta globin gene that produces abnormal rigid hippoglobin cells which transport oxygen through the bloodstream. Symptoms include joint pain, anemia, chronic infections, swelling of the extremities, and a much shorter lifespan. But through the use of CRISPR, scientists have successfully edited the gene responsible for producing malfunctioning hemoglobin, enabling the production of healthy versions of the cells. Patients have reported the disappearance of symptoms and the treatment received FDA approval in late 2023. The success in treating sickle cell disease as well as the related condition beta thalassemia has fueled hopes that CRISPR can treat a wide range of diseases. Currently, dozens of clinical trials are underway, using CRISPR to address everything from cancers to HIV, with the future of medicine being rewritten one gene at a time.